Welcome back or welcome to my channel, you guys. So today I am back with another hair review. Don't mind my plate back there cause I'm going in when I'm done with this video. So she's right there. But anyway, this video is sponsored by Miss Coco Hair. They were kind of to send me over this 24 inch body wave highlight unit. And I reattempted the robe curls. They came out a lot better this time, but it was still same issue as before. Anyway, we'll get into that in the install and styling portion and all that. But let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. We're gonna start with the unboxing. All right, y'all, so inside the package, they sent this satin drawstring bag and the box. So the satin bag was inside the box. So the first thing inside the bag was an edge brush. They also sent a bonnet, a blue satin bonnet. They sent some lashes, some alligator clips. Need those, love that. Ooh, a pink rat tail comb. My favorite color is in my favorite shade of pink too. And they sent, I think this is a headband. Band, like a leopard print headband, I think that's what that is. And they sent the two nude wig caps. Yeah, I like that they sent the satin bag so I can store all my stuff in the bag because boxes take up too much space. But yeah, okay, so that was everything in the bag. Now, inside the box, when you open it, it has all the information on it. Like I said, this is a 24 inch body wave, 13 by four, less frontal unit and 180% density. It also came with this little card with some care instructions and then the wig. It was inside of a hairnet. It's got stuffing on the inside and then let me show y'all her right out the box. So this is the construction on her. 13 by 4 lace frontal, three combs in the front, comb in the back, lace in the back, and an adjustable strap. And then this is the pattern, body wave pattern, straight out the back, super pretty. So yeah, that is the unboxing. That's all that came in the box. Now we're gonna get into the install and styling portion. And then I'll give y'all my thoughts and review on this wig. Y'all already know the drill. I don't even have to say it no more. I really don't. But yeah, if you wanna see that and how I reattempted these robe curls, they came out a lot better this time. Then keep on watching. All right, y'all. So I'm just gonna be doing the same thing I did in the last video. I'm um, just parting it right now. I decided to do a side part in this video. I did a middle part in the last video, but I want to do a side part this time to see how it turned out. And then I'm going to be hot combing it and hot combing the hair in the direction that I want it to lay. And then we'll get into the actual robe curl thing. All right, girl, so now I'm gonna be taking my spray bottle. All I have is water in it, nothing else, no conditioner, no nothing like that, it's just water. And I'm gonna be spraying the hair, wetting the hair, and I'm gonna take my paddle brush and brush that through the hair just to make sure all the strands are, you know, got a little bit of water on it, saturated, all that good stuff. And then once that is done, I'm gonna be taking my lot of body foaming wrap and I'm gonna be applying that to the hair just to give it some extra hold just because I didn't know if me not sleeping in it overnight or whatever, letting it air dry, what everybody else was doing, sleeping in it overnight, was going to affect, like, the hold of the curls or whatever. So I just wanted to put some product, you know, to give it some extra hold instead of just using water like everybody else. So that's why I did that. I'm going to be brushing that through. And then we're going to start on the robe curls. So same as before, I'm just taking the belt of the robe. I'm placing it right on top of the wig. And I'm taking this clip. I got it from Shein, actually, this big clip. Um, just to clip it and hold it in place and then just like before I'm taking hair from the front Twisting it to the back grabbing hair in the back and then twisting it back around Doing the same thing all the way to the end except This time I didn't braid when I got down to the ear like I did in the last video I know some people were saying oh when you get down to the ear start like You know doing three strands like braiding basically I don't know why I even did that because that just made it Ten times more complicated for no reason when I could have just kept twisting like I was already doing so that's what I did this time. I just kept twisting all the way down. And then once I get down to the end, y'all, I took some more of that mousse and put 
on the end just to make sure it holds and doesn't unravel and all that and then i secured it with my scrunchie hair tie rubber band whatever you want to call it i call it a scrunchie but that's what i secured it with and then you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side and then what i did after that once both sides were done i just twisted them inwards you know because they kind of loosened up when i let them go or whatever so i twisted them inwards to tighten them and then i clipped it up with my little big clip to put it under the dryer just to make sure all the hair is up under the dryer and nothing's like hanging down and not getting dry or whatever so yeah i put it under the hooded dryer and that was it all right y'all i've had her under the dryer for two hours now so if it ain't dry this time i don't know because i went under there no two hours the first time i tried this let's go ahead and install take her down i hope it's dry i don't know it better be dry This hair is still damp, y'all. What the heck? I'm mad y'all, this hair is still damp, but I'm not finna keep waiting. Maybe one day I'll get it right. I guess I do have to sleep with it oh, overnight. I know all the videos I was watching, people would just go to sleep, but I figured I'll just let it dry overnight. But I just figured that, you know, it'll work, you know, the same if you dry it under a hooded dryer or something. But two hours, I guess, wasn't long enough because it's still damp. I don't know if my, like, is it the hair too thick? Like the section's too thick for the heat to get through? But yeah, it's still very much damp, but oh well. We're gonna take her down. Okay, it's looking better than the last time. The bottom is dry. It's this section right here. This like real thick area right here that's not dry. Hold on, hold on.
put some concealer in this part real quick. Okay, it definitely looks better than when I did it the other day. It does look better, especially these over here. Okay, this is a little loose right here. I'm just gonna put that back there. See, if these sections that's still damp that aren't tight and it's not holding but it looks pretty good though just need to dry it a little longer it's cute okay cute okay yeah we done all right y'all so that was the install and styling portion so yeah as y'all saw the curls came out cute like these sections right here were dry and they came out perfect if they all came out like this it would be perfect but it's not the method it's just me uh, it's just not dry but i had it under the dryer for two hours and i know before i was not under the dryer for two hours but it was under the dryer for two hours and still not dry so i guess i'm gonna have to let it dry overnight i don't know but it looks way better than the last time though so i'm okay with it but yeah okay let me give y'all my thoughts on her so she is big hair friendly i didn't have trouble getting her on at all love that you know your girl got a big head got a lot of hair need all that up under my wig so i had enough room the lace easy to work with no problems there easy to match melt no issues no weird undertone colors nothing like that it is a 13 by 4 lace frontal and it is giving my four inches of space and also 13 ear to ear it is touching both of my ears and i think it went past my ear just a little bit no it's touching both of my ears so yeah pass the test there the density is 180 percent density and it definitely is full enough i noticed that as soon as i took it out of the box how thick it was it was very full so yeah i really like that i love the color too this color is really pretty like some subtle highlights you know nothing too crazy the hair is really soft tangling is not an issue shedding isn't an issue so far i haven't had it in i've only had it in to install it though so i can't say how it'll do over time because i'm not gonna have this in very long so yeah but so far she's not giving me any problems in that department they usually don't um like usually when i install wigs like it usually don't give me any more trouble than it did the first day i installed it i feel like it did really well with the robe curl method it's just again me not letting it dry long enough these sections right here were the damp ones as you can see these were the worst looking sections and these are all nice and tight and curly but yeah she still turned out really cute so yeah y'all that's all i got to say i'm gonna give her a 10 out of 10 she didn't give me any problems especially for it to be a treated like unit you know it's color treated hair and it's very soft and it just wasn't any problems you know with it being color here so 10 out of 10 i like it i'm gonna get this robe curl thing right i'm gonna let it dry all the way one day i'm gonna get it right but i feel like it turned out pretty cute still better than the last time so yeah that's all i got to say thank you again to miss coco hair for sponsoring this video if you want to purchase this unit for yourself the link will be down in the description box below as always and be sure to check for a coupon code because there usually is one get you some coins off i'm trying to hook y'all up so yeah I always check the description box for a code and that's it that's all i got for you guys well that is it for this video you guys i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel please and thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.